Hi everyone, this is Yom from Civil Center. Welcome to our channel. As we know, Civil Center is continuously working with the vision to guide civil engineering students and professionals. And for that, we keep making videos on different topics and on different software related to civil engineering field. So, today we have got a comment and uh, that comment was uh, how we can add the doors and windows in a SketchUp model. So this video is dedicated to that one. So I'm just going to share my screen and I will show you how you can simply add the doors, windows and ventilators in the SketchUp model. Okay, so without wasting the time, let's start. So you can see this is our SketchUp model and now we are going to add the doors in this and for that we will have to just open the warehouse and there we will have to look for the modern doors because we are using a modern building so we are going for the modern door now that we have downloaded it we will simply rotate it in the perfect angle and now we are going to use our move tool and place the door at the right position then you can see the size was a little different so we have used the scale tool now we have to place the same door to all the openings of door so for that we are going to use the copy tool so that is how we can place the door now for the windows we will search for the glass windows and here we will find a lot of options so the moment we find the perfect option for ourselves we can simply download it and import it in the software directly now we will have to wait for a while because it may take some time as this is a heavy thing so we will have to just wait for it and then place the window at the accurate position so first of all you will have to simply place the windows and later you can also just scale it and give it the perfect size like over here it is fitting perfectly in the windows opening but at the other portions it can just vary with the size so we have to place the window at all the window opening so we are just going to rotate it and place it at the perfect location for that i am just copying it and to copy i am selecting the move tool hitting the control button on my keyboard and then i am moving it so it is very convenient to move it like this okay now i am just going to grab the copy of the window and bring it to the required location and similarly i have to place it to all the windows opening okay so since we are using the window of same dimensions or you can say we have the same uh, length and width of the all the windows openings so we can place the same window over here but there are places where we have to resize this window okay so that's not an issue and if you want to save your effort from rotating then you can simply go on the side parallel to the window and from there you can simply import the window and place it to the desired locations so either you can just uh, copy a single window and just keep rotating it and placing it or you can also simply go for a window uh, like uh, on the parallel walls now you can see i have also placed the door over here now this way why i have chosen this way of scaling this window oh, sorry the door because if i will scale it from the other direction then it will go inside the wall and from the inside the wall the uh, it is hard to grab the point and bring it over here so i have just moved the wall to the left and from there i can simply scale it to the desired location so now let's go for the ventilator so you can see we have the ventilator in the warehouse itself so we will look for the ventilator and from there we are going to download the toilet ventilator and we will simply look for it and we will download it in the similar way and then we can place it to the desired location so this way you can simply place all the ventilators at all the locations over here and now we can also take a round around the building and place the ventilators so guys this was a simple technique of placing the doors windows and ventilators in the sketchup model to know more about uh, such uh, informative tricks in the sketchup you can simply start 
watching our YouTube channel and if you want to take the professional training on how to make such a model for that you will find a link in the description and all you have to do is to just register on that link and our team will connect with you. If you have any kind of question then you can leave your question in the comment section and if you have liked this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to our channel. Thank you everyone.